You prayed and believed your whole life, and here you are. Explain that to me. In a few minutes, you guys are gonna go out there and sing about God and Jesus as if they're as real as you and me. To us, they are as real. When a 12-year-old watches his mother dying of cancer, a God who would allow that is not worth believing in. Life is really a tale told by an idiot full of sound and fury and signifying nothing. Name? Uh, Wheaton. Josh Wheaton. Philosophy 150. You might want to think about a different uh, instructor. Come on, man, it can't be that bad. Think uh, Roman Coliseum, people cheering for your death. I'm Professor Radisson, and this is Philosophy 150. I would like to bypass senseless debate altogether and jump to the conclusion which every sophomore is already aware of. There is no God. All that I require from each of you is that you fill in the papers I've just given you with three little words. God is dead. Wheaton is something wrong. I can't do what you want, I'm a Christian. If you cannot bring yourself to admit that God is dead, then you will need to defend the antithesis. I think of Jesus as my friend. You think Jesus is God? I don't want to disappoint him. So your acceptance of this challenge may be the only meaningful exposure to God and Jesus they'll ever have. Hey, to me, he's not dead. I don't want anyone to get talked out of believing in him just because this professor thinks they should. Mr. Wheaton. Are you ready? We're going to put God on trial. Do you think you're smarter than me, Wheaton? In that classroom, there is a God, and I'm him. This experiment is over. You get to decide who the most important person in your life is. Me, Professor Radisson. I have to do this thing. I feel like it's something that God wants me to do. I, I can't just turn away from it. You just want to ensnare them in your primitive superstition. What I want is for them to make their own choice. That's what God wants. You have no idea how much I'm going to enjoy failing you. Yeah, but who are you really looking to fail? Me or God? God's not dead. He's surely alive. Science supports his existence. You know the truth. So why do you hate him? It's a very simple question. Why do you hate God? God's not dead. He's surely alive. He's living.